Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Annalise, and my hair is probably gonna be a different color next time you see me. I'm going to Vegas tonight. Right when I get there, I have to be kind of ready, so I figured I would do my makeup first, kind of fix my hair, get in my little dress when I get there. Keep watching if you want to see how I achieve this look, and also the products that I used. Oh, oh, what happened? Uh, oh, what, ha what happened? Are you okay? Are you sick? Are you tired? Actually, yes, I am tired, but no, I'm not sick. This is just me without makeup. I'm sitting on the ground for this bullshit because there's nowhere else that I could do this, and I had to turn my fan off, and I'm sweating. That's the end of the complaining for this video, I promise. I already washed my face, so no, I'm just kidding. Do you know me? I don't wash my face. Not even kidding. Starting off with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. No, starting off with getting my hair out of my face, which have we noticed that my hair is slightly purple? Yeah, that was an accident, but I just left my uh, purple conditioner on for too long and my hair is basically a sponge, so I decided I wanted to be kind of purple and you know what, it's whatever. So yesterday was, a no, yesterday was Thanksgiving. Today was Black Friday, but yesterday night I went ham on the sales and spent <sighs> thousands of dollars. But it was mostly Christmas presents for family and friends. I also did buy a smart TV because I don't have a TV in my apartment and I was waiting for Black Friday to get this TV because I didn't want to buy it at $700 but it was on sale for $200 so I'm pretty stoked about that. It's like a 50 inch TV smart TV because I don't have cable and I don't want cable. Okay now I have the mirror. So yeah I got a TV. I got a lot of clothes, I got lots of Christmas presents, foundation, yes you guessed it, I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. And something really cool is now Amazon has an influencer program, I mean they already, they always had the influencer program, but now it's like, instead of having like affiliate links which get really annoying, it's like I can just link my list and then you guys can click on the list and see all the products that I used, which I think is really cool because that's more like consolidated, you know, and you can just pick through like what you liked or what you were interested in and what you weren't interested in. I think that's pretty freaking cool. So I made my list last night and then I'll add all of the products that I'm using so that when you watch this video, if you if there's anything you've been wanting to try or anything that sparked your interest, you can go check it out on my list. Anyway, so I got lots of presents from my sisters, my parents, my nieces, Keenan, and I also did get some clothes for myself. And also I have like the best life hack, but also like I can't decide if it's like not trustworthy. I mean, I don't know, you tell me. So Ulta always has this thing where if you spend a certain amount, you get like a free gift and the free gift is usually like worth $90. Their Black Friday sale, they had like on several of their items, like buy one, get one free, buy two, get one free. And so I did that with like a bunch of stuff and I just bought two of everything or I bought three of some things, you know, and then one of them was free. And <laughs> what I do, and you cannot be honest and tell me if this is like not trustworthy because if it's not, I don't want to do it. But like also I know lots of people that do it. Not that that makes it okay, but. So basically what I do is I order a bunch of stuff. Um, I get the free gifts, I get the free products because you know, buy one, get one free. And then I return everything else. I spent zero dollars except for like shipping and I'm getting like hundreds of dollars worth of product. Like I ordered buy one, get one shampoo, which was like $50 each. And then like buy one, get one of like this really nice face cream. Buy one, get one of Hula bronzer. So many products and like gifts. And, and then I go to Ulta and I just return like the duplicate and I make sure that I return everything that like was a duplicate and then I'm just sitting there with tons of free product. Is that, is that like not okay? Honestly, I don't know. I've never been questioned in the past because I've been doing it for probably like a year now whenever I get an email from Ulta and it's like spend $40 and get this free wine glass kit. I'm like, bitch, okay. And then I spend $40 on something that I don't really like because then I won't have to, then I won't want to keep it. And I get the free gift and then I return the product and you get to keep the gift. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. It's my little life hack. My little possibly dishonest life hack. I don't know. I would never steal. Like it, it says on there, like if you return the product, then you get to keep the free one or the free gift. So it's like, well, they know that people are going to do that. I don't know. And next, I'm going to use my Real Tex Techniques brush. Technique! Technique! Tech... Nick. Name that show. And this is a Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells like summertime. My camera's having a really hard time uh, doing its job, like auto-focusing and whatnot. Ooh, I love when I get foundation in my blonde hair. Let's see, what else did I want to catch you guys up on? Honestly, I can't remember. This whole week has been a flop. I was on my period. Still on my period, like, the last day, but apparently when I'm on my period, I literally can't do anything. So my Thanksgiving was pretty chill. The day before Thanksgiving was really chill, but not, like, fun chill. Like, I was in pain chill. It's whatever. Today, this afternoon, I am flying to Vegas. Now I'm using 
Lancome Marquis Maki Complete. Just a concealer. Uh, I'm going to Vegas for a friend from college is getting married, which like literally all my friends from college are either getting married or already are married. And I'm like, hey guys, like it's funny because like we're all in the same friend group with like my ex who like we were planning on getting married and but we're like the only ones that aren't married. <laughs> Dodged a bullet. Literally, he was a police officer. Okay, anyway, moving on. I'm super excited. I haven't seen him probably. I know I saw him after I graduated when I went back to visit, but I can't remember when the last time was, but he's getting married. Um, unfortunately, I'm not in the wedding because like, I don't know the girl that he's getting married to. I've never met her. I was like, yo, like, let me be a best man. Like, come on. Cause we, we are like really close friends. And he was like, yeah, I don't think that's allowed. I was like, fine, I'll just go. So he's flying me to Vegas. So I was like, okay. Flying to Vegas, just the wedding is tonight and then like the reception party is tonight. And I think I fly back tomorrow night. So that'll be cool. I plan on gambling and winning lots of money because I'm really good. Knock on wood at blackjack. Every time I've played blackjack, but I have to be like slightly drunk or like blackout drunk, actually. I always win like a lot of money. I don't know how. I, it, honestly, it's just luck because I don't really know what I'm doing. Every time, like... I would go gambling in Reno and like my ex would give me like $20 and I'm like, okay, this is what you have. And I would come out with like $300, $400. And one time we went gambling with his parents and his mom got super drunk and just like was handing me hundreds after hundreds. And I flipped it over into like thousands. So saying I'm really freaking good. Blackjack? Is it blackjack? Ow. It's the one where, honestly, I don't know. It, I've always been drunk when I've done it, so I could not tell you. Oh, now I have my concealer and then my little, oh, I didn't even tell you what I was using. I was using my NYX contour and concealer liquid, and I just dot the contour on because it's really intense. Yeah, so I come home tomorrow night, so it's a quick trip, but I'm super excited for it. I love Vegas. Um, I just, I really love Vegas, and I'm so excited to see all of my friends from college that I, I haven't seen most of them in two years since I left. Some of them are actually still in college, which is really funny because I graduated two years ago. But hey, honestly wish I was still in college because that was a great time. Now I'm gonna... I guess I'll use my beauty blender right now since I put the concealer on kind of thick to do... Oh, 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 did we hear that? Okay, so really annoying story. I use Instacart now because Postmates decided to decline my credit card. Get this because... Oh no, that was an accident. They said that it was like suspicious activity was occurring on my account. That suspicious activity was that I was using it two to three times a day. Ain't nothing suspicious about that. I mean, like, maybe a little, but, like, I was still paying for it. Process of trying to get your Postmates, like, not suspend your card is ridiculous and also impossible. So I've been using either Amazon Now, Amazon Express or whatever, or Instacart. So I Instacarted this morning some groceries because Keenan's going to stay at my house while I'm out. While I'm in Vegas, I say house, it's an apartment. I'm gonna use this to do my contour that I fucked up. So I got some groceries that he would like, and I also ordered tampons for myself because I need some. Because I'm wearing a Diva Cup right now, and like, it's fine and all. It's a little too big for me, but they don't make like smaller ones, I guess, for like people with small vaginas. I ordered tampons, and I also ordered a couple other things for me, and my Instacart person did not bring like four of the things on my order and I didn't get refunded for them. Like what? I'm gonna use my Kat Von D translucent powder and then my fake beauty blender because she fake. She doesn't really blend foundation well, but she's good for putting this on. So why am I looking in the viewfinder to do this? I didn't claim to be a beauty guru, guru, nor did I claim to be smart. You know that video that I made where it was like, genius answers easy trivia questions while drunk. Like it wasn't a joke. I legitimately am a genius. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous to say, but like IQ wise, my IQ was on the genius level is what I mean. I don't claim to know everything, but I am technically a genius. So there's that a little nugget of information that probably half of you won't believe. Oops, sorry. It's very true. I underwent very serious psychological testing when I was in treatment and found out a lot about myself. And then one of the things that I found out was that I'm actually a genius. I'm filling in my brows with the brow gal pencil, which is my favorite. So funny when you do one eyebrow and then look at the other one and it's just like oh that's sad. 
My eyebrows are actually pretty thick, but they're really sparse right here. And honestly, it's not even that they're sparse, it's just that like I consistently over pluck them. I really wanted to do a prank video of like pranking my boyfriend and telling him I'm pregnant, but then like I think that would just hit too close to home right now, so I'm not gonna do that. But I do want to prank him, so leave your ideas below for how I should prank him. Okay, are they looking similar? The lighting that I'm looking at sucks, and everything looks fine in the viewfinder until you go back and edit it and you're like, okay, there was literally quinoa in my tooth that whole time, you know? Now that my face has been baking in the refrigerator for... Baking in the motherfucking refrigerator. Baking in the oven for three minutes at 500 degrees. Did I really say baking in the refrigerator? This is my Kat Von D just like fluffy brush that I use to get translucent powder off my face. It's so soft and fluffy. What a concept. Okay, now my feet hurt from sitting like this. We're just gonna switch back and forth from uncomfortable position to uncomfortable position. Next, I'm going to, what am I going to do next? Highlight? Okay, I'm good. Discount code linked down below. <laughs> okay, where's my unicorn highlighter? This is very important. All right, where's my freaking unicorn? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. We faced unicorn highlighter. We all know it's she's my favorite. There's I put too much makeup. It's like a no problem. Shinier. I've been using this NYX Away We Glow liquid highlighter first, and that literally just flew across the room. And just like dotting it a little bit on my face. Highlight underneath my eyebrows with again the brow gal. Highlighting double-ended, I was gonna say double-ended sword. Why was I gonna say that? And then I put my Anastasia brow gel on top to keep them in place. This is my favorite brow gel ever. They ain't gonna move, girl. They gonna be looking fleeky all day. <sighs> I need to stop talking like social media 2015. Now, flat foundation brush. This is actually a pixie brush that I never use, but we're gonna use it to do this. Wow, that was stupid. That did not do anything. Holy crap, let's fix that. Like, literally took off all of my foundation. I don't like that. It's like, maybe I shouldn't have let it sit on for that long. It's just like chunky and sitting there. Ugh, why? Maybe I can like fix that with some more bronzer. I mean, okay, well, it's okay, so fuck that. We're just gonna use, I'm just gonna do what I was gonna do in the beginning and use my unicorn highlighter. even see but in this mirror though can you see that my mirror is really dirty don't judge me but holy shit that highlight girl i love the unicorn highlighter more than anything oh okay <laughs> switching positions again it's fine i bought two of these unicorn survival kits and i have one on my poshmark i can't remember if it already sold or not i'm gonna link my poshmark down below because there's lots of good stuff on there right now lots of designer stuff for cheap because i'm just like honestly don't want it anymore that is like so intense. <laughs> oh, I didn't even contour first and that's what I was supposed to be doing. Oh, uh, uh. Okay, I'm using my stun brush and my Bella Pierre contour highlight thingy. God, Annie, stop looking in the viewfinder. You're gonna end up looking like a toe. Is this too intense? The camera makes it look like, okay, but like in person it's like, girl, you going to the strip club? Which, yeah, who knows, I'm going to Vegas. Okay, ow, this is good. I can literally not get comfortable in any position. Right? This is the most amazing brush out of the whole stun kit, I swear. This is the flat brush and I used, <sighs> something's tickling my face. The light color under my eye, even though I already um, baked it, this really just like gets rid of everything. Love when my camera overheats when I'm in the middle of, I don't even know what it was doing. <laughs> Oh, I was doing my under eyes. Anyway, I looked in my real mirror and this is so intense of a highlight that I need to like just kind of blend everything out. It's still fucking intense, but like, bye guys, you know what I'm saying? Now, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna brush out my eyelashes. That is an actual hair from my head. Brush out my eyelash extensions. By the way, I've had these now for two weeks and I've lost approximately maybe three lashes. Makeup is so heavy that the bottom drawer won't pull out. And you just hate when something won't pull out, cause same. I'm gonna use my Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist real quick, just because I just put a lot of makeup on my face and I normally wait till the end to do this, but let's set in that foundation, shall we? Next I'm just gonna put on some chapstick cause my lips are fucking chapped. This is just the hemp lip balm. No, there's not actual weed in it. <laughs> Trust me, if there was, I would be eating this, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding. Stay in drugs, don't do school. I love a nice moist lip. Oh my god. <gasps> Just can't with me right now. Okay, we're gonna go to my eye, so I'm zooming in 
a little closer than you probably would like to be. But this is my favorite eyeshadow palette right now. It's the Pixie by Petra. It's my favorite. It's so pigmented. It's just as good as all the high-end palettes, only it's affordable. I'm first going to go in with my Stun kind of fluffy brush. And uh, should I do orange or red today? What am I feeling? I'm feeling like red, I think. So we're going to go in with this one. Just on the lid up until the crease. And then on the whole lid. Then I'll take the next lighter color. The orange actually will be a little fire crotch today. What? No. And then just take the orange and kind of blend it up. It's like a flame, you know? So then it's orangey a little bit. I have like a pearly white under my brow. <sighs> she overheated again. What else is new? I just did the same thing to my other eye though. And so this is my eyeshadow right now. Baiting if I wanted to do a winged eye. And then I was like, bitch, of course you're going to do a winged eye. So let's go ahead and do that tutorial on how I do my winged eye. Because this is not going to be... Oh my god. Literally, both of my feet and every other... I almost said orifice. Every other appendage that I have is literally asleep right now. Ow! Ooh, okay, hold please, my foot's so asleep. It's not okay. Oh no, I just lost an eyelash. Well, oh well. Is it even? I don't know. Is it fine? It absolutely. Now I'm gonna do mascara on the bottom. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which I also have in a cute little chode size. How cute is that? Just on my bottom lashes because, hello, I already have top lashes. You know what I'm saying? Finish the eyes. Um, I may put like some glitter on them, but first let's figure out my lips. Right now they just have makeup all over them. I don't really need to do the lips yet because it's just going to come off. So maybe we'll just go with like a nice chapstick, a nice gloss. I'll use my Sexy Mother Pucker gloss. Oh, I literally just missed my lip. Okay. okay, this is literally the stupidest angle ever, but I had to stand up because my feet were breaking. I did my eyes so i show you that and then i put on the gloss all right and this is the final look as you can see it's not like the final final look i'm gonna have to like touch it up add some more like night makeup when i get there but for outfit this little shirt from forever 21 black lulu's fenty slides <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what else you want to see in the comments down below. And yeah, bye.